I think that I have never missed the opening of robot hunting season until in 2020, the COVID-19 hit us all. The world went crazy and Spain went under lockdown. We spent three months without being able to leave our home, which for people like us, that nature is part of who we are, was tough to go through. So we are finally out after three months of confinement and it feels super good, but weather is not very nice. It's raining, a lot of wind for rollbacks, but the terrain looks amazing. So fingers crossed. As measures relax and sports were allowed again, I could only think about going out hunting, but still, I couldn't make it, as traveling to another state was prohibited. Without many options and a huge desire of going out, I decided to discover the hunting opportunities from where I'm from. I'm from the Basque Country, in the northern part of Spain, and even if it may sound crazy, I had never hunted here before. The Basque Country has one of the most beautiful landscapes you can hunt on. Dense forests combined with open pastures makes for the ideal roe deer habitat. The reality, though, is that late spring the vegetation is so tall that makes hunting roebucks a real challenge, especially as deer populations are not as high as in other areas of Spain. The quality of the soil here is poor, with a lack of calcium, producing smaller trophies compared to the quality Spain is known for. But that, that wasn't relevant, as the experience of hunting close home is what we were there for.
here it's over 30 here in the northern part of Spain in the Basque country we have already spotted three females so the day looks way better than last time That, right there, was a huge rollback. But that's the consequence of trying to capture everything on video. You have to assume that you will miss some opportunities. The good part was that we now had a giant bug located. Me tengo, ¿eh? Segundo. Ya tenemos uno. Una vez que le llegaba a ver, se iba metiendo. Me ha salido para el Olimpo. ¿Sabes? Pero eso se te mete, se te desaparece, luego te mueves. Sobre todo. So, my first rowback from the Basque country, that's an estate from the northern part of Spain. This is where I was born and where I grew up and I have never hunted close to my house. We typically go to Burgos, to the neighbor state, so pretty stock. We have been hunting for three days. The grass is super tall. It's hard to, to see rowbacks this time of the year, but we came to this opening. It looked perfect for rowback terrain, so I decided to make a few calls it's not the rat but typically those calls sometimes it's enough for a buck to stand up to see what's going on or maybe you bring a female and the buck comes behind so i don't know since it was already a bit late it's nine in the morning i was thinking like okay let's give it a try and sure enough i made a few calls and suddenly boom the head of of the rollback look nice i mean the quality here in northern spain is very very poor so you cannot expect six points it's just a, a trophy for this area 
and there was not my, many chances here because of the trees, the elevation and all that. I was able to find, to put the backpack in on the ground, find a rest, 220 yards and stone dead. So pretty stoked, finally. So nice to be hunting robots after all the confinement and finally to have a robot from from my, my area where, where I was born, so thanks Roberto. The best part about being so close to my family is that I could take the whole roll back and show it to my son, Bruno, who back then was three years old, teaching him where does the meat that we eat comes from. We are back for the afternoon and this will be the typical terrain from the Basque Country. So it's basically forest area with grasslands and the terrain is very broken so you just go to different grass areas and just pick over, walk through all or like roads, little roads from here that they used to, to take care of the cattle.
On each permit of the Basque Country, you have two deer tags, and that buck wasn't the one we came here for. Our goal was to try to find a big buck from that morning, which, considering that legally, with each permit you can only hunt for two days, and being that the last afternoon, we were going to need a lot of luck. A bit distracted by the other roe deer and the foxes, we arrived to the area where we saw that big buck a bit too late, with not really much light left. And there it was. As soon as we watched it through the scope, Sigor made it clear this was the biggest roe buck he had ever seen in the Basque Country. We couldn't mess it up. With barely no light, we had to make that buck stand up. No le veo pasar, eh. Me ha parecido que me ha pegado, eh. Joder, qué nervioso estaba. Qué grandísimo tú. Has mirado. Mira a ver si. Por ahí no está. Por ahí abajo. La corrida de aquí. Roseta. Este corzo no hemos matado en Vizcaya nunca. Qué perlao. Así te apuntaba gordo esta mañana. Esta ¿sabes? mañana sí es que... Y, y luego te decía yo, ¿cuánto saca por encima las orejas? No, no. Es que es un corzo. Mira qué rosetas, ¿eh? Qué corzo que será. Será medio Qué masa, ¿eh? <risa> sí, bueno. Muchas gracias. Muchas ¿eh? gracias, corzo. Oye, Rosa. Me ha parecido que hay le ha temblado. You guys can't believe how stoked I am because this is the bug that we watched this morning and to be able to plan a stock, plan the whole afternoon and make it happen and it's even bigger than what we thought, it's probably one of the biggest robucks that I have ever seen in the Basque Country so I just feel super lucky right now. I mean I can't, I can't believe it and it has been I'm stoked, guys. We often overlook the opportunities we have close home. And one of the many things this virus has taught us is to appreciate what we have, not taking things for granted, and to enjoy every little thing around us. Esquerri Casco.